Welcome. Cisco is always exploring ways to improve our customers' experience, and that all starts with enhancing how they interact with our products. Let's dive in and take a quick look at the new and improved user interface for Cisco Intersight. The first thing you may notice is the new look and feel, or theme, of the user interface. Cisco's goal is to transition its software portfolio to a common theme in order to enhance customer experience across the portfolio. Intersight is one of the first platforms leading this transition in adopting the new theme. As part of this transition, we've also greatly improved user navigation within the platform. First, we've added a service selector drop-down menu in the header ribbon at the top of the page for easily navigating between services. Here you can see we're currently on the My Dashboard page, and you can also view the other services that are available, such as the Infrastructure Service, Cloud Orchestrator, and Workload Optimizer. The System option is where we can go to configure many different aspects of our Intersight account. Let's take a closer look. On the System page, in the left-hand menu, you can see we have two subsections, Settings and Administration. The Settings page allows us to view current account information, configure authentication preferences and sources, configure access and permissions, as well as create API keys. If we expand administration, this is where we can go to do things like add targets, view audit logs, configure Intersight licensing, and more. Now that we've seen how to configure the platform, let's take a quick look at the available services to see how they are organized, starting with the infrastructure service. The infrastructure service provides three subsections, Overview, Operate, and Configure. The Overview section provides a brief summary of the infrastructure being managed. The Configure section enables users to create policies and profiles to configure their infrastructure, such as deploying a physical server, Hyperflux cluster, etc. And the Operate tab allows users to manage the infrastructure once deployed. Now let's take a quick look at the Cloud Orchestrator service. Cloud Orchestrator provides a single subsection called Configure and enables customers to build and execute powerful orchestration workflows, as well as create custom tasks and data types. Here we can see an example workflow which has been created using Cloud Orchestrator. Now let's take a look at the Workload Optimizer service. Workload Optimizer service provides three subsections, Overview, Analyze, and Administration. Overview is the main section for Workload Optimizer and gives a visualization of the supply chain and recommendations in order to optimize your on-prem and cloud infrastructure. Analyze allows customers to run plans or what-if scenarios, as well as do things like search and create executive dashboards. Administration provides further settings for configuring automation policies, creating groups, and much more. Now that we've covered the standard way of navigating through the main services, I'm excited to introduce another even simpler method for navigating across the platform. We call it Command Palette. Command Palette is an easy-to-use search-and-go wizard which can be used by typing Command-K on Mac or Control-K on PC, or it can be found in the Help menu in the upper right corner. Once Command Palette is open, you can simply start typing keywords related to where you want to go or what you'd like to accomplish, and it will bring up options in the form of pages and actions. It's as easy as selecting the appropriate option, and just like that, you're there. This feature dramatically reduces clicks and the amount of time to switch between areas of the platform. Before we wrap up, I'd like to point out a few changes in regards to the icons in the upper right hand corner. From left to right, first we have the request page which lets you review any of the actions that are currently or have taken place within the platform. Next, we have the advisories page where you can view security advisories, field notices, and end of life notices. Next, we have Alarms, where you can review current and acknowledged alarms from this single overlaid view. Next, we have the Help menu, which provides links to online documentation, terms of use, a feedback mechanism, and more. 
And finally, we have the user profile page, which provides information about the current user as well as the ability to switch accounts or roles and to sign out of the platform. Well, that's it for this brief introduction to the new user interface for Intersight. We hope you enjoy the features this new UI brings and as always look forward to your feedback using the built-in feedback option within the help menu. Thank you.